Hey guys, welcome back to Maldonado's Exotic Animals. And today I'm gonna do a quick little reptile room update. Let's go ahead and uh, check on some animals. See what I got going on in the room. Just cleared up some space right there. Gonna get a new rack for the hogs. So here, here we have my albino hyannery, female. She's looking good. Hoping she uh, ovulates for us later this year. She's pretty big. She's about 750 grams on empty. Here we have Annery female who might be pregnant. So hopefully that's the case. Here we have Tiger, Annery, Het Snow Splash, and with, uh, where's the male? The male should be right here. Here we go. Here's the male. He's going in the shed, actually, so I'm going to go ahead and put him in his bin. But if we look at him, here's the male. That's breeding that Tiger, Annery, Het Snow Splash. Patterns inconsistent, kind of splashy. Over here, same thing, inconsistent, kind of splashy. You see how the pattern goes up and it does those pipe markings. Let's go ahead and uh, show him a little better. You see how the pattern is inconsistent, show some splash markings. But yeah, this dude has been working hard, man. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and throw him back in his bin really quick. It's been, like I said, you know, working with the girls a lot. So uh, we just showed you that one. Here we have a purple line Yeti, female hognose. She just took a giant crap. Let's go ahead and Check her out. I'm gonna try and see if I can put on some more weight to her. Get her ready to uh, breed. She's a beautiful hog nose snake, hold on. Let's pull her out and uh, show you a little better. So, she's a proven breeder. She's produced quite a few uh, hog nose, but hopefully she'll be able to do that for us here. Big thanks to Eslin over at Exotic Fire Hogs. So, yeah, she's doing good, looking good. Starting to put on some nice size after brumation. Hopefully we can get a clutch or two out of her. So, hopefully we'll produce uh, some Super Yetis this year. That would be awesome. So, like I said, Purple Line uh, Snowconda. Agna snake or purple line yeti. Proven breeder, she's looking awesome. Looking really good. She just took a giant crap. I'll clean that after the video. Um, this girl's really jumpy and stuff where she'll come out. This is a purple line triple head Casper. Caramel, hypo, exanthic. Evans hypo. Dutch hypo, whichever one you want to call it, the same thing. But yeah, hopefully we can get some Caspers, Frostbites, and uh, Ghost from her next year. They'll be going next season. She's a uh, 2020. Same thing with this girl, but she's a purple line Conda, double head coral, which is lavender and albino. Hopefully we can get some lavender supers from her. That would be awesome. And coral supers. That would be another awesome thing to produce. Here we have Purple Line Superconda, Pos Double Head Mercury. She was bred earlier this season. She has some meals in her, but hopefully uh, she starts developing some eggs. Uh, she appeared to be ovulating about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, but didn't go into a shed. So given that we didn't brumate her, uh, she might have reabsorbed. Maybe she won't do a normal shed cycle or any of that. So 
Hopefully, uh, she does something for us this year. I have a late box in with her. Here we have a cool looking Paradox Snow, Kenyan Samboa. She has some cool looking splash or pied markings on her. She came from a uh, Refescence Cross pairing though, so not all too sure she'll have splash in her because the breeder that did produce her has splash in his collection. So hopefully these uh, markings are not just refescence and uh, are also splash. That would be awesome. So yeah, really nice girl. She's a 2020. I'm gonna see if we can get her a uh, normal splash het for Paradox snow that would be awesome she has some nice paradox spottings and those nice little splash markings on her not so many people have a uh, splash paradox only it's still still a pretty fresh combo out there but there's a few out there <clears throat> there she goes Here we have a F2 vanishing pattern female het for annery and pastel vinyl. And uh, basically the vanishing pattern is the pattern going away. And uh, kind of looks splash, but it's not splash. There we go. You see some of the pattern that's quote unquote vanishing. They don't pattern doesn't go away with uh, time or after each shed it goes away after each production on individual animal so it's kind of like uh, it works in the expression of like a, doing a dodoma or uh, more like a HRP actually works more like the HRP trait but yeah you can see how it's vanishing and doing kind of a splash look but it's a very nice looking animal this was produced by shannon vote over at vp samboas awesome girl hopefully we get some more vanishing stuff maybe improve her out for snow yeah it goes in f2 vanishing pattern cool gene and project here we have a little annery female with some cool little like splash looking markings She's available if you guys are interested. Have her listed on Morph Market for $275 shipped. If you guys are interested, you can PM me on Facebook or Instagram or on my Morph Market at Maldonado's Exotic Animals. You'll be able to find me. So yeah, this girl's looking nice. She has a cool little like puzzly looking pattern. She almost resembles a P3, but it's definitely not P3, so. Do not get confused. And yeah, that's the pattern that got me to buy her originally. Where she looks splash. She looks just like a dirty splash. But like I said, she's available if you guys are interested. $275 shipped. Or if you guys are gonna go to Daytona, I'll be vending at Daytona with exotic fire hugs here we have my tiger snow splash kenyan samba that i produced last year who doesn't love a pied snake she's doing awesome looking amazing starting to get that golden yellow color and her expression's awesome. Look at all that pied that she shows. Such an amazing sand boa. Really proud to say that I've produced this girl. She came from a tiger albino splash, a annery to a snow splash. They were completely unrelated and outcrossed. So that's why I did the pairing. So she's a uh, out, unrelated outcrossed splash as well. 
She's 18.75% refescence grass. She's awesome. She just love her pied markings. So yeah, snow splash, tiger snow splash. Here we have the male at Brent Oreo, the Annery girl. He's the brother to that weird looking Annery female that I'm also having for sale. He has a really nice reduced pattern, hard to handle and get a hold of. But uh, here, I'll just bring him right here. But yeah, he has a nice looking uh, reduced pattern. Hold on. And when the snake is moving around all a bunch, you just cup it. But yeah, he has a nice little reduced pattern. Pretty cool looking. High white. Here we have a purple line. Triple A het for sunburst. Look at all that white freckling and the outlining and stuff that you get from the Arctic gene. Kind of see it better on her neck and on her head. She's labeled possible Arctic though, but I'm pretty confident that she's Arctic. She's very unique looking. But yeah, she's awesome. See all that white speckling from the Arctic gene influence. And then the mask is being outlined. And it's very busy in the, the mask and all that. So yeah, so AAA, Purple Line AAA. Have for Sable or Sunburst. Powerhouse female. Produced by Eslin over at Exotic Firehogs. Here we have a neat little reverse striped albino conda. He's available on Morph Market as well. No, not on Morph Market, but if you guys are interested, you can message me through Morph Market or uh, my Facebook or my Instagram at Maldonado's Exotic Animals. He's available. He's a neat little production came from a uh, reverse striped albino conda from jamie vahan to a cascade locality head albino female from eslin so produced by eslin so this is an awesome awesome male if you want to use it to uh, add into your lavenders or uh, coral project stuff really awesome awesome male to have or just as a pet he's beautiful and then just to end things off with a good note some nice little coral snow to Sarah action here this dude is quickly growing on me his pinks are insane look at the color and saturation in this guy definitely a reason to get into corns and he's just gonna get better from here. Oh. There you go, you can see how pink he is. And then this is his girlfriend. Red Factor Annery, het for Coral Snow Motley. That male is also het for uh, Motley. But yeah, she's nice. All that yellow and stuff. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. That's a little update on the reptile room. So, yeah.